Hey, you, are you moving to Davenport, Iowa? Well, I'm gonna teach you seven common mistakes to avoid if you're moving to Davenport, Iowa. Now, if you have done any kind of research on moving to Davenport, you probably already know that it is right next to the Mississippi River. And as a part of that, you do have to worry about flood zones. Yes, it's an issue if you don't know where you're buying a property because insurance for a flood zone is very, very expensive. I've heard estimates as much as a possible mortgage payment. So you want to make sure that you're avoiding those areas if it's something that you don't want to deal with. Now, if you want to live on the river or next to the river, well, by all means, go for it. But just understand what that actually looks like when it comes to insurance. You really are going to want to figure out what that looks like if it is a concern for you. And it's not just the Mississippi, which is why I talk about it, because we have a bunch of little streams that feed the Mississippi. And when we get big rainstorms, sometimes those little streams fill up so much quicker than the Mississippi and can flood your home, which actually is a bigger problem than even the Mississippi. The Mississippi is a huge river, can take a ton of water before it floods. And in fact, when it does happen, we have plenty of warning because they understand the flow of the Mississippi a lot better than some of these smaller creeks. So if you're moving to Davenport and you're purchasing a home, make sure you know if their home is in a flood zone because it will affect your insurance and potentially it could affect the property itself. Now you may be asking, how can I know if something's in a flood zone? Well, that's why people give me a call. I know where the flood zones are and I can tell you before you even go look at the home, if it is in a flood zone or not. So my number is popping up down below. If that's a concern for you. You're gonna really want to reach out because you do not want to buy in a flood zone if that's not what you're looking for. Now, if you're moving to Davenport and you don't know that winters get cold here, I don't know what to tell you, but I've seen this as a common mistake, especially for people that are moving here from a warmer climate. They may know that it's gonna be cold, they may not understand how cold it's gonna be. In fact, I had a friend move here from Nigeria, and when he first stepped into Iowa, he had a coat on similar to this. This is more of a wind jacket. It was the first time he had ever felt the air hurt him. And that's how he described it. The air can get so dang cold sometimes that it can actually physically hurt. So if you're moving here and you don't know what cold feels like, just be prepared that it is going to happen and maybe get something a little bit thicker than something like this because you need to be prepared. If you're moving to Davenport, something you're gonna have to get set up pretty quickly after purchasing a home here in the city is your utilities. And you're gonna wanna know who it's gonna be. Not all the utilities are the same person to pay. For example, your trash, sewer, and leaf slash vegetation disposal is all gonna be the city of Davenport, but your gas and your electric is gonna be a company called MidAmerican. And when you're moving here, you may not know that. And on top of that, your water, your drinking water is coming from a whole different company called American Water. So when you're moving here, you're gonna wanna find out what those contacts are so that you can set up those utilities fairly quickly because we don't want you to go without power, electric, which is the same thing, your gas, if you got a gas furnace, and in the summer, that electric air conditioner, you don't want to be missing out on that. And I guess water is important too when you move because I want you to understand who your utilities are before you get here so that it's not a hassle when you get here. Now I've talked about this in other videos and it comes down to public transportation. Public transportation in Davenport is a little bit lacking, but it's not non-existent. There are options, specifically our bus system, which is the Metrolink, which is all over the Quad Cities. But if it's important to you, you wanna make sure that you're close to a bus stop because the bus stops can be miles apart and you want to be able to access that if public transportation is important to you. So what I would recommend is getting onto their website, looking at those bus routes and understanding where those bus stops are. And again, if you need help with that, you've seen my number a couple of times, I will send you over a link if that's important to you because you don't wanna move somewhere but you can't access that if it's important to you to have that public transportation because it's not everywhere that you move in Davenport. 
Did you know if you move to Davenport or really just the state of Iowa that you only have 30 days to go register your car? Well, now you do. If you didn't know that before, it is only 30 days. I can speak from experience, not personally, but my old roommate, he moved from Illinois into Iowa and he didn't know this. Now he never got in trouble, but technically he was illegally driving his car around after he had moved here. I believe it was like 60 days before he realized that rule. So it is a common mistake when you move to Davenport to not get your car registered, but now you do know, so you have no excuse as to why you haven't registered your car. But when you do register your car, what does that actually look like? Well, you're gonna go to the DMV. Unfortunately, there are long lines there just something you're gonna have to deal with, and you're gonna register your car. The cost for registering your car is a percentage of the list price of the car, and based on how many years old it is. They're gonna do a percentage, you can break it down, you can see what that looks like, and then on top of that, it's 40 cents for every 100 pounds that your vehicle weighs, which is called the tonnage, and they will help calculate that as well. I will warn you that car registration here in Iowa can get a little bit pricey, especially if you have a bigger vehicle. So you've been warned about that as well, but make sure you're registering your car right away because you only have 30 days from the time that you have residence in Davenport. Now this one is really just kind of a generality, not maybe specific to Davenport, but it's still something to think about. And when you move to Davenport, you're gonna to have to do it regardless, and that is notify the post office that you have a new address. You know, most likely you're gonna be forwarding your mail from your old address to your new one. So you're gonna to wanna to tell them your new one so that they know where to deliver the mail to. But you're also gonna to wanna to go into all of their credit cards, all of your Amazons of the world, Everywhere that your address is, you're gonna to want to let them know because you're gonna to wanna to start receiving your mail at your new address. So get in there, do that as quick as possible when you do make the move to Davenport and you won't regret it because you'll start getting your mail. Although maybe you don't want the bills, so I don't know. Maybe it's not something you wanna do right away, but you also don't wanna be late on your bills. Davenport School District has plenty of different schools and if you're moving to Davenport and you have a specific school district or school in mind, you're gonna really want to know where those lines are when you're trying to pick out an area to live. So if you have a specific school district or school that you want to be in, make sure you understand where those lines are because a common mistake is that you move into an area and maybe it's not in the right school district. And yes, open enrollment is a thing, but it's not a guarantee. Guarantee. So if you move to one school district and you want to get in the other, there's a potential that you could get in there. But sometimes they have so many kids coming to certain school districts that they can deny you that open enrollment. So just keep that in mind if you're moving and you want a specific school district that you want to get in that area so you don't have to deal with that open enrollment if that's something that is a concern for you. Now I make videos about Davenport all the time and people call me all the time so that they don't make a lot of these mistakes. So if you have a question that maybe isn't covered in this video, my number is popping up down below. I'd love to help you out. But if you just want to watch another video because you like my personality, well, check out this video right here.